Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. As usual, I am here with another lecture, another topic. Uh, in today's video, we will discuss about the regions. That what does mean by regions? Uh, what are the characteristics of regions or attributes of the regions? And which are the different regions of the world? But before going into the details of the region, uh, let's have a discuss there are some discussion about the regional geography because a uh, region we learn everything about the region in regional geography so what is region to isme region se jane se pehle hum dekhenge ki actually regional geography hai kya usme hum kya padhte hain actually regional geography is the branch of geography where we learn about or where we study about the different regions of the world so you know there are different regions of world and they have they are being categorized or determined uh, on the basis of different characteristics so, so these regions can be uh, continental regions these can be a uh, geographical regions uh, traditional regions historical regions uh, tourism or recreational regions uh, having a strong administrative uh, setup regions or economic regions or physical regions so there could be a lots of names of these regions so the regional geography is uh, i'll say a very important uh, part of the geography because in uh, regional geography uh, the regional geographer who are the expert in uh, you know uh, in determining the regions of the world they keenly uh, see the or observe the different parts or even the very smaller minute parts of the regions or the characteristics of the region because these regional geographers they not only see the cultural aspects of the region but at the same time they also see the physical characteristic of the region like a topography soil characteristic or uh, you can say the different landscapes or the physiography mountains glaciers deserts forest and also being uh, you know the urban process or urban characteristic in cultural uh, you know phenomena or cultural uh, characters they also see the you know the uh, ethnicity the language setup the language uh, uh, they also see the political setup uh, at the same time they also see the religion of the people so uh, when the people they do study or they do investigate or they do observe the different things or uh, uh, having a regional geography दे कम अक्रा दे कम आउट विद अ गुड नॉलेज ये जो लोग हैं जो रीजनल जोग्राफर जो हैं ये जब रीजन में जाके या किसी भी रीजन की स्टडी करते हैं सो दे ब्रिंग लॉट्स ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड दे एड लॉट्स ऑफ नॉलेज टू द जोग्राफी बिकॉज जब आप एक एक खत्ते को अलग अलग पढ़ेंगे अलग अलग स्टडी करेंगे अलग अलग ऑब्जर्व करेंगे उनकी डिफरेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक को देखेंगे चाहे वो कल्चरल करेक्टरिस्टिक हो सोशल करेक्टरिस्टिक हो इकोनॉमिक करेक्टरिस्टिक हो या फिजियोग्राफिक करेक्टरिस्टिक हो तो आपके पास एक किस्म की ठोस किस्म की नॉलेज आ जाती है सो दे ऑलवेज बी इन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन जोग्राफी दीज रीजनल जोग्राफर सो वेन वी लुक एट दी यू नो रोल ऑफ रीजनल जोग्राफी और इट्स इवोल्यूशन इज एकेडमिक सब्जेक्ट और इट्स बैकग्राउंड सटनली आई विल हैव अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन दैट बट रीजनल जोग्राफी कैन बी डिवाइड इन डिफरेंट एराज और डिफरेंट पीरियड्स or you can say it has been evolved or been changed or be having a impact with the major incidents like you can say the geography uh, regional geography before the world war 1 region geography before and after the world war 1 or world war 2 and regional geography also has also impact of cold war also or you can say uh, the concept of capitalism or communism they also have a impact on the regional geog geography and you know regional geography has been taught uh, uh, or been offered this subject has been offered uh, into different universities in different countries you know uh, under the different titles तो बहुत सारे ममालिक में इसको पढ़ाया जाता है जैसे मिडल ईस्ट पे स्पेशली पढ़ाते हैं नियर ईस्ट पे पढ़ाते हैं साउथ एशियन स्टडीज़ होती है मुख्तलिफ अंदर लेटिन अमेरिका सदरन अमेरिका यू नो सो और ओशियाना तो मुख्तलिफ ये दीज आर दी एकेडमिक सब्जेक्ट विच आर बीन टॉट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज सो इट इज़ ऑल्सो स्ट्रॉग स्ट्रॉन्ग कनेक्शन विद द विद द जोग्राफी ऑल्सो 
so i'll say uh, this is very important for us to you know to follow or to study the regional geography you want to study if you want to understand the geography as a whole is a academic subject so but the role of regional geography has been changed with the time so now this is the you know era of technology or economic boom so now we have a economic regions also where the countries whose which economy are similar uh, so they have a coordination or cooperation or pacts or agreements also also so uh, I, 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 I will make another video on that but today we will discuss about the region so now, now let's go what is region region hai kya hum kisko kehte hai so region is a is a particular area having unique characteristic having unique characters characteristics are different characteristic or many characters or one character which is dominant कोई एक करेक्टर या मुख्तलिफ करेक्टर उसको मिला के एक रीजन बनाते हैं मगर वो करेक्टर बहुत डोमिनेंट होता है नाउ द रीजन लुक सो होमोजीनियस इन साइड बट दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ठीक है अगर किसी एक रीजन को देखेंगे आपको वो होमोजीनियस लगेगा किसी भी एक रीजन का नाम लें सो नाउ यू कंक्यूनिट दैट रीजन इज स्पेशल स्पेशली एरिया और टेरेटरी विच इज अक and homogeneous homogeneous characteristic or the features which make it uh, region chahe wo characters chahe uski physiography ho topography ho administrative setup ho or you can say climatic characteristic ho or recreation or sports ho religion ho or you can say any any natural characters of forest ho ya आप कह सकते हैं टेम्परेचर हो सो समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दैट मेक इट डिफरेंट और इथनिकल और लैंग्वेल करेक्टरिस्टिक हो लैंग्वेल बैकग्राउंड हो कोई खास किस्म की कम्युनिटी कोई खास किस्म की रिलीजियस बिलीव वहाँ पे पाया जाता हो वो उसको एक 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 रीजन रीजन बनाते हैं सो सो इफ इफ वी इफ इफ वी यू नो फॉलो द हिस्ट्री ऑफ रीजनल जोग्राफी और द रीजन सबसे पहले सबसे पहले हेरोटस he used the word regionalism or he evolved with uh, he come out with the concept of regionalism in 5 uh, 5th bc sabse pehle usne ye word use kiya tha herodotus ne so he divide the world in, into three different regions uh, one was asia another was europe and the third one was libya so he divided into them in 19th century uh, a, a french geographer vidal de blache he used the word pays pays for the area or the or, or, or the territory having a similar cultural and physical characteristic sabse pehle jo region ke liye jo word use kiya tha wo vidal de blash ne use kiya tha 19th century mein to usne pays ka word use kiya ki ek aisi area ek aisi jagah jiske cultural aur physical features similar ho to usko unne pays use kiya so Uh, now we'll come out the you know say attributions of uh, uh, attributions of the regional regions you know but before going to attributes let's have a uh, i remember there one guy herbeshen uh, in 1905 he used uh, he divided the world into different regions this was the first time in the history that that guy divided the world into different region but his basis his background was the वॉज द क्लाइमेटिक करेक्टरिस्टिक सो सबसे पहले हरबिशन ने नाइनटीन जीरो फाइव ने दुनिया को डिवाइड किया डिफरेंट रीजन्स में बस बट उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने क्लाइमेट को क्लाइमेट को बेस बना दी कि इट वॉज अ क्लाइमेट देयर सो इट वॉज कॉल द नेचुरल रीजन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नाउ विल विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ द रीजन सो वट आर द डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट्स आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द रीजन सो रीजन्स have always locations no everybody knows about that it has been existing is it is a location is been locating on the surface of earth on the globe so even you can trace out the names of certain regions from their locations like we say near east we say far east we say middle east we say oceania we say latin america we say southern america we say northern america so these are the names which Uh, describe the location of uh, those regions regions have boundaries certainly again certainly regions have always the boundaries so they have a uh, demarcating lines which they uh, they are being differ or uh, they are making them separate from the rest of the territory so these are the corners or edges 
which make that the region so regions always have a boundaries and their boundaries when we cross their boundary there's a, a, there is a another region or the different region so the boundaries which lock them we call that the bond so regions always have boundaries like we say sahara deserts uh, you can say uh, you can say uh, different regions like monsoon uh, regions of the world so there could be a different you know boundaries are uh, uh, there could be political boundaries or the natural natural boundaries uh, now we are coming to the regions regions they they have hierarchies so the regions uh, uh, they are being made are being found are having the different smaller units so when those smaller units are connect together they are connect together they make the region so when you go inside the region you will find certain smaller hierarchy smaller units so these smaller hierarchies are units they make them and combine together make or give their shape to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the regions koi bhi aap leg even if you take the example of the cities also cities you see these are cities are being grown or being sprawl or being spreading so, but they start from the simple uh, you know standing from the simple structure but slowly and gradually with the time they you know uh, they expanded so similar like the regions here so regions are being uh, you know uh, based on the different hierarchies now the regions can be uh, formal and regions can be uh, functional so the formal regions are the physical regions we can take it the the regions either being formal or the functional formal regions are the physical regions where the physical aspects are being so dominant where you can say any climatic condition or physiographic characteristic which is so dominant either that is a barren land or they have a desert land like the sahara desert sahel desert something like this or uh, like a monsoon asia where the monsoon uh, uh, you know uh, climate has been so dominant there or any ag agriculture soil fertility or soil so they are being so so this is called the you know uh, the formal regions of the world where the physiography topography soil climate so dominant which is make it the region even sometime forest like amazon you know amazon forest or amazon region something like this you know functional region functional region they describe on the basis of uh, culture on the basis of religion beliefs on on the basis of ethnicity on the basis of the language so language could be a dominant there ethnicity can be a dominant like a french people latin south asian in pakistan india we have a people who speak urdu or hindi so they're similar they're, so they have a similar you know uh, uh, it's a lingual uh, lingual background ethnicity also be, people are being divided into different countries of the different world but their ethnicity ethnical background is different is being changed but still they are being living in different parts of the world but if you take take that though you can say they are the french or spanish world french world or latin world or sanskrit world something like this even if you come inside the pakistan also you can see in pakistan we have a के पी के खैबर पख्तून का यू नो के पश्तून पश्तून बेल्ट इन द सेम टाइम वी हैव वट इज वी हैव सिंधी स्पीकिंग बेल्ट सेम टाइम वी हैव उर्दू स्पीकिंग बेल्ट इन द सेम टाइम वी हैव पंजाबी स्पीकिंग और ब्रावी एंड बलोची सिमिलर इफ यू आर इन इंडिया यू हैव तमिल यू हैव मलायम वी हैव पंजाबी सो दीज आर दू नो बेल्ट आर द रीजन विच आर बीन मेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑफ द Uh, language religion also you can say you can divide the region on the basis of uh, uh, belief people have been following there like you have a uh, islam or the muslim world at the same time you have a christian world or christianity where people are following then a buddhist people who are been living in and they follow the Buddha, uh, buddhist re region also so uh, if you compare the formal and the functional regions of the world for functional regions are al always been wider and the larger because uh, they now they don't change quickly if you look at their edges or the borders or the boundaries they don't change but if you follow the physical regions that that can have a capacity of changing so with the time they can be changed you know so those features can be you know distorted that features can be you know gone from there I, I mean, even when you build something or when you construct something you are changing the physical aspect of physical land of uh, landscape of uh, those uh, regions so 
Uh, and the number, number last, number fifth, it is the boundaries, uh, you know, the regions have a transitional boundaries, transitional boundaries. It is very natural that all the regions have been changed with the times. So the boundaries can be swapped in terms of physical and cultural also, you know, the countries, their borders can be changed, the regions, their borders can be changed or on the basis of whatever uh, the character you have, either the physiographic character, cultural character, that can be changed with the time. So these were the attributes, these were the attributes of the uh, re region. So uh, in, in coming videos, I'll talk about the classification, the classification of the regions. We have a different class of the regions, physiographic regions, climatic regions, cultural regions, economic regions. So I'll discuss in the coming video so till then uh, if you like my videos please like share subscribe it and also share with your friends so we have a more and more subscriber so you can get my you know videos so quick and have a notification also so till then take care of yourself see you